because I never, ever, ever wanted to do anything else. I honestly don't know what I saw as a little kid because I, I was looking at this little toy guitar and I had to have it and my, my mother t talks about how she had to dr literally you know, pull me away from this window <laughs> until eventually she gave in and, and bought it for me. Lots of the book is dedicated to the Smiths. That was only up to the age of 23. Mm. It, it, it dominates the book. Does that bother you, that that will still be the focus of people's interest in you, even though you've done so much stuff since then? It would if it was everyone's focus of my life, but it isn't everybody's focus of my life. It's the media's focus of my life. It's what will define me. I've made, I'm fine with that anyway, because I was in a fantastic band. albums which were just so incredibly successful in a space of five years. Well the Smiths were really driven to work. Uh, we were driven to try and do something great. Our lives are led by work and the Smiths were like that, particularly myself and Morrissey. Never had a holiday. Why would you want a holiday from the Smiths, you know, until five years in when it would have been a good idea, frankly, but that's another story. What is more satisfying? What have you found over the years, working purely on your own or collaboratively, as you have done on so many occasions? I think because I'm a guitar player, and I was first known for being in a four-piece archetypal rock group, that split up. It, it's taken people some time to to realise that I'm actually more. I have more in common with someone like Brian Eno or Nile Rogers in that I, I collaborate. I think after 30 years of doing it with the the and Modest Mouse and so on. So I guess I'm a serial collaborator. Did you worry that writing this book? that this was going to whip up this hornet's nest of media questions again, that you've had all that time since, mm. of will the Smiths get back together? Yeah. Fans don't really ask that question. They get their interest, the story gets, the narrative gets whipped up by the media, and I understand why, because it's a story, you know. But 30 years later, it doesn't really affect my life. I like, I'd like for the, the band to be friends, that's a different deal, you know.